Morning guys, it's Miss H again. And this morning we're gonna go through the understand statistics quiz. All right, it asks on this one, which of these could be considered a statistical question? You need to think back to your lesson and the fact that a statistical question is one where you could collect data and then that, that data could vary. You could have different answers. So how many pets does Tom have at home? Could that have different answers? No, you would just go and count the pets. He has five pets. That's not statistical. On average, how many plants do the students in your class have at home? So let's think, we'd have to go collect data. You have this many, this person has this many, this person has this many. We'd have to add them up, divide. We'd have to use that data and we'd have different answers. It could be one has five plants, one person has two plants. So that seems statistical. How old is John's sister? Sorry, Joan's sister. That only has one answer, the age that she is. So the only one that's statistical is our on average with our plants. Again, one where we need to look and see, does the data vary? Could there be more than one answer? What is the typical number of holes for the buttons in the jar? Like the holes in the middle, some might have four, some might have two, some might have three. So that has more than one answer. We'd have to collect data. How many buttons are in the jar? Just counting them up, that's only one answer. Are there any square buttons in the jar? That's just a yes or no with only one answer. So the only one where you have to collect data is our first one where we have to see which ones have different number of holes. All right, so the median number, remember, is the number in the middle. So in this case, we could go get rid of one over here, get rid of one over here, get rid of one over here. It gets a little bit tricky when you're trying to do it this way. I honestly took these quizzes before I did it with you guys on here, and I wrote them out. I wrote out two, three, five, five, six, 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 seven, 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 and then crossed one off on each side until I only had one left in the middle. And when I did that, I ended up with the number six. All right, looking at this graph, do we have a bunch, remember symmetrics is so if I fold, that they would mostly match. We have about the same on the left and the right. Is it skewed right where the tail is longer on the right side or skewed left where the tail to the left is longer than the one on the right? In this one, we've got a little bit of a tail kind of to both sides, looks about the same on both sides. So I would say that it's symmetric, not perfectly symmetric, but pretty close. So again, median, the one in the middle. Now, again, this is hard for me to be able to kind of visually do cross off one on the left, cross off one on the right, cross off on the left, cross off on the right. So I wrote them out. I put on my paper, zero, 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 one, 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 and wrote down all of the numbers. And then I was able to physically cross them out. And that helped me a lot. When I did that, I ended up with the number two. So it wasn't so obvious that it's like, oh, well, there's four in the middle here, that's about halfway. No, because this has more dots on this side. It's heavier with data on this side. So I end up with the number two. But you need to write those out in your math notebook to help you. All right, and so is this skewed to the left, the right, or symmetric? Well, we can look at it and see that it's not symmetric, right? We got a lot of stuff on this side, and then our tail goes to the right. So we would say that it's skewed to the right. 
It's a little bit confusing because you, I know you kind of want to pick the one where you see all the data, the side with all the data, the left, but it's which way the tail is going. So it's skewed to the right. All right, so looking for the outlier, the one that's kind of different than the other numbers, right? So we've got everything over here and then we've got this one dot over here. So that guy's gonna be my outlier. So the range, the largest number, we have one at nine here. From minus the smallest one, we have one at zero. So nine minus zero would be nine. Our data ranges from zero to nine. And then you're done. All right, guys, have a good day.